Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading. I'm here hanging out with Mega Good Vibe. She's just taking a little rest. I wanted to come on and um, tap into the Divine Masculine's energy a little bit because um, I'm, I, I feel from the feminines there's this Queen of Swords energy, okay? And many of you don't mean to be in that energy, but it's just in the air. <laughs> no pun intended, okay? Um, maybe the universe and, and your spirit guides and your ancestors, they're helping you out to navigate the journey in the best way possible. Um, I feel that, you know, at the beginning of 2023, many of you are, are starting new cycles with your counterparts. Okay. And, um, your masculines are in that, they're in this period of purging and, you know, they're, many of them are coming back to, to communicate and they're getting this Queen of Swords energy from the feminines. And I feel that that is coming from a place of, of, of wanting to assist the Divine Masculines, okay? Um, so many, I, I've talked about this in the past readings, that a lot of your masculines are coming into this realization that the journey is in fact very real to them. They're starting to see things on uh, a, a deeper level, um, certain things that can't be a coincidence, okay? And that is making them a little bit curious. It's, it's drawing them towards your energy even more because now it seems as though everything you've said all along, is, it's starting to make sense to them, okay? So... Um, you know, what's different this time around is the energy has shifted a lot with the feminines. So although you feel or you might have that realization that this is your twin flame or it's your masculine, you still have that clarity, okay, like the queen of swords, um, to really discern and you're not going to let anything into your space um, if it doesn't align or if it doesn't feel right. Many of you are rejecting the notion or the idea of being a part of third party situations. Um, I do feel that if many of you are setting that boundary, um, it's going to make your, your person run or ghost or block. Um, it's going to trigger them to want to return back to karmic situations. But I feel like with this queen of swords energy, um, you know, a lot of you have the awareness now that it's just part of the journey. Like, you know, if your person has to do what they have to do, they let them do what they have to do. Um, because I have been saying that if, if a lot of you are in the feminine collective, you're comfortable giving space. You're comfortable giving space for healing because I feel like many of you have seen the benefits of the healing that you received in the separation that you were in, right? That space allowed you to, to grow in ways that were very beneficial for your mental health and you know now many of you are feeling very fruitful and very abundant like this little kitty over here maybe getting lots of rest and relaxation having a lot more time on your hands <laughs> so i feel like you know divine feminines you're feeling very worthy you're feeling very confident you're willing to walk away from situations that just don't serve you so a lot of you it's like oh my gosh the anticipation of you know communication from your counterparts yes but if it doesn't feel right, you're willing to, you know, walk away and create space and just relax and, and do your thing until it feels right. You know, so many of you are really embracing your solitude. I think that there's a lot of you out there in the feminine energy who, oh my God, her, her chest is getting so furry. Huh? What's all this fur growth on your chest? Huh? It's so cute. Um, I feel that like, you know, for many of the feminines, you you are receiving the opportunity to really get out there and enjoy life and experience life and you're no longer in that lower vibration where you know if your masculine comes along um you know you're you're again you're feeling so worthy that it's like you're paying more attention to to what it is you value uh in in a divine masculine energy Okay, and 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 uh, I I feel like it's pushing it. You know, by you cutting off maybe like communication or by you not reacting to your counterparts, um, like if they're if they are triggered, I feel like it's creating 
an effect where they feel even more magnetized to you. I guess what I'm trying to say is your self, <laughs> your self worth and self respect makes you more romantically attractive. All right. So how do the divine masculine see the the divine feminines right now? How do they see you? Okay. So we have surrendering. Okay. So she is literally watching him walk away if he needs to. You know, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back, no. Well, you know, don't come back at least until um, there's balance. Look at the sun and the moon here on the wall, right? Until both of us can be in our masculine and feminine energies together. Um, you know, I would have to kind of choose myself. And look at the sour look on her face, right? It's the queen of swords, baby. It hurts to do it, but hit the road, Jack. <laughs> and that's great energy to be in divine feminine because even though you may not see it right now, it is very very attractive to your divine masculine to see you, you know, surrendering to the flow of things, right? You're not fighting it. If somebody is not coming towards you with uh, quality and uh, dignity and self-respect, um, it's not going to align with you because at this time you're embodying a lot of that, you know, she's not afraid to be alone. She's comfy and cozy. This is her space. This is her home. Um, yeah, and if the energy doesn't align, again, you're willing to move forward and walk away, okay? And then we have jealousy here coming up as well. Um, you know, I see someone who is able to enjoy themselves alone, and this is what your divine masculine may be thinking, and it's creating this jealous energy where, you know, look at you just sitting back and enjoying yourself. This might be if you get ghosted or if they block you or if they walk away or if you decide to ghost them and block them and walk away or if, if something doesn't feel right and you're like, nope, queen of swords. Um, because you're not afraid to lose the connection. I feel like it's because you know how to indulge in time alone. You're willing to be patient for the connection that's here in the background. And it's interesting that it shows a man and woman kissing on the wall and it's a shadow because at this time it's allowed the space or whatever energetic interaction or exchange you both have had to you know make things align in the right way it's like you both are doing your shadow work when it comes to this connection or when it comes to this love and a lot of your masculines again may be feeling you know a little bit jealous of you kind of sitting back and and enjoying yourself um being able to indulge you know it might again hurt to let them go but i feel like a lot of you are uh You know you're willing to cut it off if you need to okay we have the scissors there as well it's ripped a photograph okay let's find out what your masculines want you to know okay okay so we have way too many i'm gonna just shuffle it again so we get a little bit more of a precise message Okay, what does the masculine want the feminine to know at this time? Oh, are you going to get a divorce? This may be something that has come up between you both. It could be a divorce. It could be when are you going to separate from this person or break up with this person. And I think I addressed this in the comment section of one of my last videos where I talked about um, you know, three people can't be in a relationship, um, or, you know, in very rare cases, I'm not judging anybody. And if you choose to do that, then, or have open relationships, that's completely fine. But I feel like for the majority of twin flames, um, that's going to come up as a trigger where, uh, you know, it may be the, the divine masculines longing to be with the feminines, but the feminines are in that queen of swords energy as long as the masculines are in a karmic situation or it can be reversed many masculines come in and out in and out but until the divine feminine is uh, free of any karmic situations you'll find that your masculine will keep coming in and out in and out because the lesson there is that it can't be the three of you right so um, I feel like this is more what the masculines want you to know is that they they understand like in order to come close to you, this is going to keep coming up if either is in a third party situation. Okay. And that might be why these energies are coming up as well, where it's like, you know, you have to surrender to the connection and wait until there's harmony with the sun and the moon there. Um, and, and, 
and you kind of we have to like purge from these energies as well which i feel may be plaguing your connection still um if third parties are involved okay so each and every time i feel like you guys are going to kind of hit that brick wall until the uh the lessons are are learned okay and i'm getting to with the queen of swords energy it's about having dignity um, it is about having respect. It is about m ensuring and making sure that not only do you have self-respect um, for yourself, you know, but it's like you make sure that other people know that you have respect for yourself. Um, so it's like no matter how tempting a relationship may be, it's like your counterpart might be all handsome, attractive, alluring, charming. Um, you know, if it's not up to your standards then don't be afraid to to say that um because that's that's attractive right you want to you want to know that you're worthy enough to attract um more than than what you deserve okay okay these are too many so i'm just going to take the one that fell on top and we have i want to be there for you in every way okay but i feel like there needs to be a decision okay because they want to be there for you but i feel like and they they might be showing up too in in your life divine feminine with communication and things like that but um i feel like your energy is like you don't want that what do you want divine feminine okay you want love because you know that you deserve it and that's the message that you will keep mirroring back to them i feel like you're worthy you're lovable and you deserve the best and you may long for this or want this in your counterpart or they may keep coming up to mirror what it is you may desire but i feel like the universe is coming toward you to expand your horizon um, and let you know that you're capable of of uh, attracting what it is you desire but are you able to see the lesson in plain sight that your counterpart is trying to teach you um so you know for many of you you may kind of put all your eggs in one basket when it comes to your twin flame connection um, when the lesson is is that you know the bond you have with your twin flame it's it's an eternal bond that can't be broken um, but the goal is for their soul to come in there and to trigger you to consistently do you know the right thing for you in the present moment doing the thing that brings you the most dignity and respect in the present moment okay guys so that's what i have for this reading i hope it helps some of you out there who may be looking for clarity for clarity sorry at this time um and and you know maybe the the title will you know capture your attention it'll, it'll resonate because you know it could be that there's a message here for you that you may have needed to hear all right so you guys take care and i will catch you in tonight's video all right bye guys